Okay, this thing is uh, <clears throat> 52 days old. Normally they internally pip on day 53, but this one's a little ahead of schedule. It's about seven o'clock and I don't want to leave it without knowing that it can breathe if it needed to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a air hole in the shell his beak is right here, and he will probably pip somewhere around here in the next couple days. So I'm gonna put an air hole way over here. I don't wanna put the air hole right where the beak's gonna be because I don't want too much ventilation to dry the membranes there. I want it to have, if there's gonna be any exchange in and out of this area over here, this air cells will kind of mitigate any humidity issues. Get, you know, air exchange from here all the way across there. So I'm gonna prepare this part right here with some uh, propanine solution, just to make sure that it's pretty clean. I don't wanna introduce any bacteria into that area. dry one. Get any excess off of there. And then I'm just going to use this eight, 18 gauge needle to try to drill a little hole in here. So I'm going to brace it against the give myself like that much room. So if anything happens, I don't go too far deep in there. So I like to make a little groove. And then make another little groove. And then I can give it a little drill if I wanted to. But I like to just sort of eat away at the calcium and then you can feel it kind of go through. I don't want to go at a right angle like that because if I have any accidents I'll go all the way in so try to uh, just want to make it through until I pop through. Pretty much through, you can feel it. Then I'm through it. So I'm gonna tip this like this so all the debris falls away. So I'm definitely through the shell, but I want to make it big enough so I can actually see the membrane underneath, the two membranes underneath that I have to go through. Sometimes if you pop it from underneath, there you go. So there's the outer membrane. I want to get rid of that. This is a clear hole there. So there's a tiny little hole, but that's all I really need. We just want to make sure that there is some kind of air exchange between the outside world in case he leads it. Here, I made it a little bigger, but that's still pretty small. So there's no danger of him suffocating through the night and he's getting fresh air and We'll evaluate him 
tomorrow.